Hi everyone, welcome to day 6 of my Hannah Day challenge. Today we will be solving one of the SQL interview question asked in Sumer to data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question says identify the employee who received at least 3 year over year increase in their salary. So in the table we have employee ID, we have employee name and we have year and we have salary and we have basically the department name this employee belongs to. So let's see how we can solve this question today. I have already created the table and inserted the data to practice it. So now you can see we have the same data which is employee ID, name, year, salary and the department. So what you need to find out is basically the employee name who has got the salary raise in the last three years starting from the latest year. Now let's see the data so that we can build our logic how we can solve this question. So we have the employee ID which is 1 to 5 then we have employee name which is John and you can see the first year salary that we have the earliest year salary that is 2021 that is 50,000 and then second we have the same employee again. And then I have basically salary for 2022, which is 52,000. So that means this is a raise. Then I have one more year for the same employee, which is 2023, that is 54,000. So this is also increased from the previous year salary. Now, similarly, I have this employee in the 2024 as well, which is the latest year. And for this year, the salary is 56,000. So this is what the employee we are looking for. Similarly, we need to check for the rest of the employee. Let's write down our approach basically to see how we can solve these questions. So here what we can do is basically we can use a window functions called lag to create the previous year salary because see here I just want to compare this employee for example this employee the latest year salary is 2024 so I want to check if this latest year salary is greater than the previous year salary so now previous year salary is basically you can see 54,000 latest year 56 so it's greater then I will also want to check the previous year salary is greater than the previous year salary or not now here it is 52,000 that is greater similarly I want to check at least for the three years so we can use a window functions called lag lag to check previous year salary okay then what i can do is basically we can use group by to basically count that how many employee basically has uh, got raised in their previous year salary then we can use a group by by basically the employee id and employee name to basically see each employee id and how many years they have basically got salary raise right so group by employee id and uh, name what you can do okay and i think these are the two things we need and we may need to use a cte here now i will solve this question using two approach one is called cte one is called subquery so we will see both the approach like which one you like you can let me know in the comments now i just want to say thank you so much for everyone for supporting my channel in instagram we are about to reach 50k and if you're new so do subscribe and follow me in instagram i do make content regarding sql python and uh, excel related topic so let's start writing our query to solve these questions so I am going to basically select few columns that I need. So I'll be selecting employee ID basically. Employee ID what I need. Next I will be selecting basically name. And next I will be selecting basically year. And next I will be selecting basically salary. So these are the things basically I need. I don't need the department. So I'm just going to select out that. Now what I need is basically the previous year salary. So let me first print this one to show you. So now you can see we have basically the employee ID name years and basically their salary now the data is already ordered so i don't have to do basically order by basically this employee id and the year okay so now what you can see is basically for this employee which is called john i mean the latest year salary is basically 2024 and that is 56000 now how do you know the previous year salary so previous year salary is basically one row to the basically the earlier one right so if i just show you in excel so maybe you will understand this lag functions better here I have basically employee which is called John and the latest year which is 2024 and that salary is 56,000 right now what will be the previous salary previous salary will be just one row above right just one row above the salary similarly previous two years salary is going to be one more row above like basically two row above right so this is the current year salary okay so this is this is current year salary now this is going to be the previous year salary right which is basically one row to the up Similarly, this is going to be like again uh, two row to the up basically previous two years salary, right? So now to get this basically we first have to do a kind of you can say order by by this then we need to do a order by by basically the year. So basically to a small to largest, right? Now what we will do is basically we using the window functions called lag. We can print here the previous year salary. So the previous year salary is going to be this one here. So I can print it using a lag functions here. Oops here i can print the leg so using the leg functions i can get the salary of the previous row 
Now similarly, if in case this one, like this year, previous year salary, we don't know, right? The employee may have joined in 2021. So we can basically put it here null because the lag functions will return null. Now similarly, this employee, for this employee, we need to ensure that here, the previous year salary is not going to be 56,000 because that belongs to a different employee, right? So here the previous year salary is going to be null. Here the previous year salary is going to be 45,000. Okay. Now how it is going to be possible? Basically, we need to do a partitions by this employee ID. If you do a partitions by this employee ID, so we will achieve this basically. So in each partitions, we will check the previous year salary and the previous year salary is not available then basically we will get null now inside the partitions we need to do a order by by this year so let's see how we can write this query now what i need is basically previous year salary here so i can use something called leg window functions now if you do not know window functions leg so i will make a video very soon to explain how leg works now you can basically see at least so I'm just going to say leg. Now what you need the previous record, you just need to put that column here. So I need this salary column, previous record, right? So I need salary, I will put it here. Now you can basically put argument here like one, two, three. If you need the one previous year salary or, or two previous year salary, you can put it here. Now even if you don't put it by default, it is one. So I can say leg salary. And, uh, and what I need to do is basically we need to do a basically something called over which is a part of window functions and I need to do a partitions because for each for each employee I need to check the previous year salary right so partitions by I can say employee id and I need to do a order by the year in ascending because I want the smallest year to the greatest year so I would say order by order by year now I can save it as basically prep year salary okay prep salary or previous year salary so if i just run this query it's going to create a new window here which will basically give us the previous year salary so now you can see basically we, for this employee which is called jane so the latest year that we have for jane smith is 2023 now 2023 salary is 51000 previous year salary is basically 2020 sal 22 to salary 2022 salary for the same employee which is 2022 you can see it was 49,000 so we can see previous year salary here right in this line similarly if you see this line which is 102 uh, for the same employee so this line you can see this 2022 salary is 49,000 previous year salary is 47,000 similarly for 2021 47,000 the previous year salary is 45,000 so in this record this lag function is just printing this the earlier record First, it is ordering the data by basically you can say by each employee, then ordering the data by year, which is from small to large. And then it is basically just getting the, the previous record of this salary because we put salary in this leg. Now, if I put something else, I will get that record for the previous row in the same basically line. Okay. Now here you see this employee has basically the, the maximum, uh, the record we have, which is basically 2022. So maybe this employee has joined in 2022. So 2022 salary is 45,000. Now this employee doesn't have the previous year, right? Record in this data. So it is getting null. Similarly, if you see this one, which is John for John, the John earliest year that we have, which is 2021. So no previous year records. So it's getting null. So it is not printing something from Jane Smith previous year, which is like this record because we have done a partition. If you don't do a partitions, it is here. We will have a record of basically this uh this salary which is 51,000 here that's the reason we have done partition so every partitions will have their own this uh, window functions uh, basically result okay now what i need to do is basically i need to just compare this salary because see this salary and this previous salary salary now what we need to see is basically this column is greater than this column because this is the present year salary this is the previous year salary so if that is true we only need those employee where their salary has increased from the previous year salary okay now, how do you ensure basically that if that is for three years, that is what we need to basically uh, get using group by functions. Okay. Now I will save this data in a CTE because I will need this column. Okay. And I will need this column as well. So I'm going to save this data in a CTE and then I will use that CTE to solve this problem. So what I will say is basically call with and uh, I'll name it called salary range, something like this. Okay. I can give meaningful name now I can give any name now CT is just a basically you can say a very simple syntax which is very very useful to solve uh, you can say complex problem 
so the syntax is very simple you say with salary range or you can give whatever name you want to give and you just say s which is as alias and inside this parenthesis you just need to put your query now after this you just need to select whatever you want to select from this table now now this query that we have inside this parenthesis that is going to execute and that is going to create a table called salary range now from that salary range i can basically use some of the columns that i need to solve my problem so i can go ahead and say select now what i want to select is basically employee id from this table called salary range next i want the name next i need basically uh, i don't need the year here i just need employee id name and uh, the salary okay so i just go ahead and say i will go ahead and say that i am getting this from this salary range basically cte okay so that is it now cte is done now what i just need to basically show you let me first run this query to see like what we are getting okay we will be getting a small table here okay i need now the previous year salary as well okay so i can go ahead and say previous year salary here okay just to show you so now you can see we have basically salary in the previous year salary so what i just need only those data where this employee this salary this present salary has been always greater than the previous year salary okay so for that what you can do is basically i can implement the where conditions here i can say this salary is greater than this salary because we only did those employee where they have received salary hike in every year compared to the previous year salary so i can go ahead and say where this salary column greater than prep year salary okay so this is going to select only those employee who has got basically salary raise in their present year compared to the previous year now over all the year okay now you see it has already filtered out the null okay so we don't have to deal with the null now okay now what i what i can do is basically i need to count like for how many years their salary has increased now see for jane we have basically one year two year three year right so we have three records for the, this employee so three year this employee has got salary raise compared to the previous year similarly for john we have one two three so three records for john as well now for ellis we have one two and for bob we have basically one and two okay so we need basically this to employ because they have got at least three year salary raise right compared to the previous year so what i can do is basically i can go ahead and say group by and i can do a group by by employee id and name right so i can do a group by by employee id and i can do a group by by basically this name now i don't need this uh, kind of salary and these things here so i can go ahead and say comment out that now what i need is basically i want to see how many years how many records we have because see if i group by this employee id and this name then i can use a count functions to see how many records i have for each employee combinations like name and id okay so count of star i can use that's going to basically count this name like 102 and this jane smith how many count i have one two three it's going to count that okay so simple count functions and i can name is like no of here salary raise okay whatever you want to say i can just give any name here okay now i can just run this query okay so this is going to give me the all the employee and their count of the year where their salary has increased so you see ellis two years bob two years and jane and john has a three years salary raise so basically i need this to employ right who has got at this to employ who has got at least three years salary raise so i can use a having functions so having function i can use on this column called having and i can just put having count greater than uh, or greater than equals to three so that is how i can get the data now i don't need uh, this count so i can just comment it out because in interview it only asks for the name and the employee id so i can just go ahead and run this query now i will have the employee um, let's just check i may have missed something from okay i added i had added extra comma here so i will just delete that okay now let's just go ahead and run it now i can see we have two employee details which is employee id this 102 and 125 they have basically got the salary raise in the continuously last three years so this is how you can solve a really complex problems like this way okay now let me basically show you if in case i want to solve it using approach to so using approach to how we can solve this questions let's see 
okay so i will be using the same uh, uh, functions which i have here so i will just cut that and put it here so here i'll be using subquery to basically solve this questions so what i can do is basically i already got this data okay now let's just see so here what i can say is basically i can select the co columns that i need from this table which is basically same as like here i have done using the cte which is here i have selected so here i'll be selecting as employee id then i can select basically name and uh, then i can select basically the salary okay and uh, i can select basically i think yeah these two things just to show you i will select this previous year salary as well okay now all these things i'm getting from where i just need to write that right so i will say from now i will put on this query in sub query in the from conditions so i can just go ahead and comment it out i mean put it one to the right and now i can just give a name to this table as like sub query you can say sub query one okay now this is fine okay let me just check yeah this looks fine so i'll be getting basically employee id name salary and the previous year salary okay so what i can do is basically i can use a where functions here i can say that where salary is greater than the previous year salary okay so that is going to basically filter me out only those employee who has basically got a salary raise right and uh, it also has filtered out the null because for the null for this null we don't know right the salary has not increased so now we are filtering out that particular year where this previous year salary is null so now i can use the same i can go ahead and say basically group by group by this employee id and name so i can say group by by employee id and uh, i can say group by by name so i can just i don't need let's say these things now here so i can oops not here so i don't need these two columns okay but i need something count here so i can say count of star that's going to basically count the employee and their basically number of year where their salary has increased okay now to get this count i need to do a group by by like this employee id and the name so let's run this query and let's see now we have the same result and i can simply use now having to kind of filter the same as compared to earlier okay so let's just run this query and uh, now i can see we have the same result which is basically employee id name and count if in case i don't need the count i can just comment it out this and delete this comma this time so this is the approach too now you can let me know in the comment which approach do you like and which one you feel more easy to solve now to solve these questions you can go to the video descriptions i will be adding my basically a github link from where you can download this data so what you need to just download this code just run this code in your basically applications mysql or pg admin 4 whatever you're using that's going to create the table and insert the data and then you can basically start solving these questions and you can write down if you have any different approach to solve these questions which is easy you can write down in the comment box and if you really like content like this and if you enjoy solving this challenge you can be a part of our discord community where you can take your 100 days challenge and solve basically 100 problems regarding sql python or any other skills that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end and i would really request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and like the video if you really like my content have a good day see you tomorrow